Next one, should the UK aim for a balanced budget? A balanced budget is where G is equal to T, or you might have a balanced budget, a balanced widget, a balanced budget over a period of time. The significance of the size of the national debt. Okay, in 2007, it was 40%. Uh, I think by about 2015, it was about 60%. And right now, after COVID, it suddenly shot up to 100%. We used to worry about a 90% deficit, which I've already explained, explained to you, because if the interest payments are greater than the rate of economic growth, then supposedly our economies became unsustainable. So, paragraph one, problems of high levels of national debt. You should be able to do all this by now. Paragraph two is a recession. You have to increase G. How we found a solution to this. Because during COVID, we used modern monetary financing, which is fundamentally the Bank of England printing money and then giving it to the government and saying, use this just like fiscal policy. Paragraph three, if we're coping with large levels of national debt, depends on how we spend the money. Okay, does it increase productive capacity or are we just spending it more, say, more on nurses and teaching wages which doesn't actually increase productive capacity. Not really. It might do. If you spend more money in the NHS, then it might solve. There's 8 million people waiting for the NHS right now, so it might solve a bit of productive capacity in that sense. Okay, conclusion. Professor Kelton, again, just worry about the output gap, modern monetary financing. This debate is very open. Okay, thank you. It's a bit similar to last season.